continuing with the topic subtraction today we are going to discuss the terms that indicate subtraction some of the terms or phrases that indicate subtraction are find the difference subtract take away deduct decrease how much less we will dis discuss these terms one by one first let us begin with find the difference find the difference between 523 and 784 find the difference means subtraction and you know that in subtraction we arrange the greater number minus the smaller number in this question the greater number is 784 which means 784 is the minuend you write the minuend 784 minus the subtrahend is 523 write minus 523 and start subtracting 4 minus 3 1 8 minus 2 6 7 minus 5 2 the answer or the difference is 261 next we'll discuss the term subtract subtract 296 from 638 you know the meaning of subtract and you also know that you arrange the greater number minus the smaller number but in this question there is an important term that you must understand and that is the term from whenever you see from in subtraction it means that the number that is written after from is the minuend so in this question the minuend is 638 write the minuend minus the subtrahend is 296 and start subtracting units place 8 minus 6 2 tens place 3 minus 9 not possible so you borrow from the hundreds place 6 which becomes 5 and in the tens place you borrow 1 and you get 13 minus 9 which is equal to 4 in the hundreds place you have 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 the the answer or the difference is 342 Next phrase that we'll discuss is take away. Take away 154 from 920. <coughs> take away means subtraction and from means the number that is written after from is the minuend. So in this question the minuend is 920. Write 920 and the subtrahend is 154 so below 920 you will write minus 154 now you can't subtract 0 minus 4 so you borrow from the tens place 2 will become 1 and in the units place you will have 10 minus 4 which is equal to 6 <coughs> in the tens place you have 1 minus 5 which is again not possible so you borrow from the hundreds place cut 9 and write 8 and borrow 1 to the tens place now you have 11 minus 5 which is 6 and in the hundreds place you have 8 minus 1 which is 7 the answer or the difference is 766 next term is deduct deduct 352 from 1000 deduct you know means subtraction and you also know from means the number after from is the minuend so in this question the minuend is 1000 so you write the minuend 1000 minus the subtrahend 352 you cannot subtract from 0 so you borrow from the 1 in the thousands place 
So you cut 1 and write 0 and borrow 1 to the hundreds place first. You have to borrow again. So hundreds place becomes 9 and you borrow 1 to the tens place. You have to borrow once more. So the tens place also becomes 9 and you borrow 1 to the units place. Now in the units place you have 10 minus 2, 8. In the tens place 9 minus 5, 4. In the hundreds place 9 minus 3, 6. And in the thousands place it is 0. The difference is 648. Next term is decrease. Decrease 945 by 423. Decrease means subtraction. In this question, you can see a new term by. When you see by, that means the number before by is the minuend. So here in this question, the minuend is 945. You write 945. Below that, write the subtrahend. 423 and subtract units place 5 minus 3 2 tens place 4 minus 2 2 hundreds place 9 minus 4 5 the answer is 522 the last phrase that we'll discuss today is how much less how much is 416 less than 850. How much less means decrease and in this question you decrease 850 by 416 which means 850 is the minuend. Write the minuend minus the subtrahend 416. Again, you can't subtract from 0, so you borrow from 5 in the tens place. So that becomes 4, and in the units place, you have 10 minus 6, which is equal to 4. Tens place is 4 minus 1, 3, and hundreds place is 8 minus 4, 4. The difference is 434.